Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the get ready with me for my birthday extravaganza. It's a three day experience and fun for me. I'm going to be turning 21. So we're going to be going to the casino, we're going to go into uh, the bar, strip club, stuff like that. So I'm excited for it all. And I'm just showing you guys how I'm going to be getting ready over these couple days until my birthday comes and I'm going to show you guys try to show you guys my birthday either pictures if I can get a video if I you know take the time to do a video while I'm out and put it all into one or two videos and I'll show you guys this video will probably be up after my birthday of course because that's the only way you'll be able to see it so I'm going to show you guys what uh, I'm doing today and I'm doing my hair today I'm going to show you guys how I prep my hair before I um, before I'm going to be installing my weave. This is the hair I'm going to be using. It is a 12, 14, and a 16 inch. It is the Brazilian bundle hair. It's an eight piece. It comes with two 16 inches, two 14 inches, and two 12 inches. And it comes with a closure. It looks like this. It's like a lace rounded closure. I'll take it off for you guys. It's a lace rounded closure like that. Just like that. I most likely will not be using this because I don't want to take the time to have to sew on this lace, which that's something I have not ever did yet still. So uh, I probably won't do it. I probably just do my own closure my own way. So I'm going to put this piece to the side because most likely I know I won't use it. And then it also comes with a bang. And the bang is, where is the bang? Let's see where the bang is, guys. Oh, uh, right here. This is the bang that it comes with. Next thing I'm gonna use in the course, I have to have my scissors so I can cut the hair and cut the thread. So I have my thread and my needle. And then I have some clips, which I don't think you'll need too many clips, of course. But I got just some clips and just some barbie pins just to once I do the hair part to push it out the way. If you want to use if you want to, you can also use um ponytail holders, of course, which probably would be better for the hair. But I'm gonna show you guys what I did to my hair already. I have um braided my hair up. I braided my hair yesterday, so I can just today just just start to actually sew my hair in without having to braid it and all that. What I did to my hair before I braided was I just washed it with a Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner, the Raw Shea, the Raw Shea Butter. And um, yeah, that's it. And I put some moisturizer in it. I used the Cream of Nature Moisturizer. And then before I actually braid my hair, I used Pink Moisturizer. And I braided my hair. You can see the braid pattern that I did. I started from right here and then I just braided around. And I just went... So right here and then I, when I started this braid I just connected it and it just kept going all the way down this one I started right here and then I just braided this and I connected it as you can see and then I just um, braided down and all the rest of the braids are just going straight back so I turn around so you guys can kind of see it so all of them just going straight back to the back and what I did was just braid this going towards this direction Connecting the braids and then as you can see that this one part is hanging out which I'm going to actually be sewing that part down First before I even start to actually sew my hair And the reason why I choose this pattern because this pattern is just so easy to do It's not like you can see the bottom of my hair I know everyone uses different patterns it depends on how they like their hair and how they think it's going to come out But this one has been proven to me that it's fine. It's, it's fine and simple and I'm not doing anything really crazy with my hair like having it in different parts and all of that so it's just going to be in a simple style and going to save it just for a couple of days so I'm just taking a piece of uh, thread right now as you guys can see and it's like this long it's not really super long like that I just take enough because you just never know I'm just going to cut cut it And then I'm going to stick it through my needle. Just 
if I could stick it through, right? All right. And then I'm going to connect my end pieces. If anybody else heard that wind, that was some strong wind. That was scary. That scared them. <laughs> that just scared me for real. Like, okay. <laughs> but this is my thread and needle. I'm going to take my end pieces that are together like that. You guys can see. I'm going to tie my end of it. And I'm showing you guys this because this is the pattern that I'm going to be using when I keep... Um, having to re-thread the needle to put in the track. So I'm letting you guys, show you guys how I put my thread together. So it looks like that, as you guys can see. This one is a small piece because this is just for me to sew my hair down right now in the back. The rest of the thread pieces are gonna be much more, much more longer because I'm gonna be having to dip it in, tie it, and just. Most people start off and put the needle inside of the braid so that first start so that way it won't be so hard to attach both you can do that to give you a better start but keep the needle right there don't push you through even more what I'm gonna do is taking my weave I'm gonna put it on my hair hopefully you guys can see this I'm so sorry can't I'm going to put it on top of this braid. So below the needle, on top of the braid. Or you can put it under the braid. That way, if you want to put your hair into a ponytail mostly, you know we can do that as well. So what, we're doing, what I'm doing is putting it underneath my braid. I'm just thinking if I want to try to put my hair up into a ponytail, I could. I'm going to move this track over just a little bit around my end like that. It starts over here a little bit more so that way when I add my other piece of the track it can kind of go like attached with it so it won't look too weird if I was to put it in a ponytail. And now I have my thread, my needle. Remember I said the good thing about having the thread long is that you can attach it and you can see what you're doing. So you guys see that my thread is right here. My hand is still attached to my weave to keep it in place because I have not sewn on that first, first tightening, whatever it's called, the tightening, just to make sure it's there. I'm going to put my needle through the thread. Not in the middle through the two little strings or the thread like that. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to just pull it through. I'm just pulling it through. I'm moving my hands out the way a little bit. If you think that your weave is probably in the way, you can like move it around to get it from underneath there. I really don't care though with mine. So we have it like that. That was our first, our first, our first tie off for it. You want to do it at least two or three times to make sure that it's secured and then for the rest of it you can just go smoothly throughout the rest of the track. So we're going to do this spot, the same spot if you want to push it over just a little bit more, of course, definitely since we started track over here, we're going to go backwards and we're going to go forward. So we're going to go over towards this way more. Over towards this way more. We're going to put our needle through once again. And since we already tied off our first knot, we don't have to go through the actual strand again we can go in the middle meaning I don't have to take the two strands apart to go through it I just put it through the middle so we're just going to grab our thread one side of the thread and then we're going to wrap it around our needle at least two times two or three times and then we're going to pull our needle 
pull our needle, keep pulling until you feel it's there, the knot is there. So what we're going to do is just flip our hair over. So the only thing I do is just throw it over my shoulder. I take my thread in this hand, then I move my hair over across this shoulder. And I'm right-handed, so I do everything with my right hand. So I got my needle back over here. And now I'm going to be threading my weaving again over that same braid. And I want to tie a knot off at the first turn. See, I tied it off off here to make sure it's secured here. Then I'm going to tie it off here to make sure that it's secured right here. And that it doesn't slip through. So now that I tied that one knot, I'm really not going to tie another knot. Because like I said, I want to have an easy takedown of my sew-in. I want to have a complicated time trying to take out knots and stuff. So I'm just sewing the hair down again. Just one, one string, just putting the needle through and bringing it back out. Hi guys, I'm done with my hair as you guys can see. This is how I turned out. Like this. And I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think, like I said earlier, about the the texture, not the texture, the uh, wave pattern of it. The um yeah, the wave pattern the color the different color that i have in my hair and also how the length is the length is just like this so yeah um as you guys can see that the beginning i started off with the webcam and a little bit towards the end i did on a regular on my regular camera because like i said i had space on my uh memory card but not enough to do a full video like this just enough to make like clips and i have to take that off of my um camera in order to make 
another video or even more just little clips some of something so that kind of just to show you guys how i did my um front part which i didn't show you guys all of it because of the fact that that takes more time to do you have to really um really focus on trying to how you want to cover the tracks as much as possible so yeah that's it like another video basically if you guys want to see that comment below as well and tell me if you guys want to see how i make my you call it invisible part and um yeah so you guys can see the actual color of the hair too in my regular camera because this camera doesn't really show it completely it's more lighter than the way that it looks in here yeah guys just tell me what you think this is the end result uh looks like this in the front looks like this from the side and this is the back of the hair like so yeah hopefully you guys like it and tell me what you think as well and um thanks for watching this video thumbs up rate subscribe tell me what you think if you want to see more videos definitely subscribe and comment and tell me what you think i should do more of. so thank you guys bye